Hello everyone. Uh, today we are going to talk about Market Dex, uh, which is a tool we have in our Options Market Dashboard. If you go uh, below the Market Net Flow, you will find Market Dex tool. Let us uh, uh, talk about this tool and why it's so important and why it's so effective. So Market Dex is uh, Dex stands for uh, the total sum of daily deltas and uh, we need to explain what that is before we even start to explain what we before we even start to understand this tool so the sum of deltas uh, means uh, when we are buying a call then a call has a positive delta and delta in in simple terms can be considered as the probability that the contract will go in the money delta uh, if the delta is let's say 0 0.5, there is about 50% probability of the contract going in the money. If a contract is already in the money, then the delta is uh, 1.0 or 100% let's say probability because it's already in the money. And so deltas are very useful because if there are a lot of positive deltas in the market, then that could mean that there are bullish forces or there is bullish sentiment in the market. Why? I think of it this way if everyone in the market is buying calls then all of them are long deltas because calls have positive delta and they are buying calls so they are long uh, delta what if they are selling calls then market participants or flow traders are short delta so from a call side buying calls will be, will be positive delta and selling calls will be negative delta on the put side it's the reverse because puts have a negative delta so if we are buying puts, then we have negative delta. If we are selling puts, then it's positive delta. If you just sum up all the calls sold, all the calls bought, all the puts sold, and all the puts bought, based on what their delta is, that's where you come up with the sum of deltas. Now, in summary, if the sum of deltas is positive, then market participants or flow traders are bullish. If it's negative, then market participants or flow traders are bearish from a flow perspective. Now, these deltas and the sum of deltas is very similar to net premiums. So if you have been using our platform for a while, you'll know that we also use net premiums a lot, which is simply a sum of premiums from calls and puts, taking into account whether those calls or puts were bought or sold. So very, very similar to what uh, we are showing here, but this is delta, that's premiums. Okay, so now that we understand what uh, DEX is, and uh, what is this chart showing? So the green bars uh, means the DEX for that entire day. So now we are summing up deltas for the entire market. So the green bars show that the deltas, the sum of deltas or DEX for that day was positive, while the red bars show that the DEX for that day was negative or, or was bearish. And these whites are just the moving average of the last couple of days. And then the yellow line is the SPY S&P price. Now, one thing that's very clear, we can actually, this is a very long chart. This is a one year chart starting from April 2021 all the way to August 2022. So let's look at a slightly smaller time frame. Okay, so we are just going to look at the last 60 days instead of the last entire year. You can do that by actually changing the parameter here. This is the moving average. This is how much recent data do you want to look at. This is much easier to look at. So let's try to understand this. So anytime you are seeing positive deltas, we are expecting the price to go up. But these are daily sum of positive deltas. So what we use this DEX chart is to predict returns for the next day, not for the same day. If you want to anticipate market direction for the same day, then if you just go right above this text tool, you have the market net flow, which is a day trading tool that lets you know where markets might go today, not tomorrow. But this text is designed in a way where it tries to predict the return of tomorrow's market. So if this text is positive today, then we are expecting the market to go up tomorrow. A really simple strategy that you can build on top of this is anytime DEX is positive for today, you can buy or you can go long at the start of tomorrow and you can exit at the end of tomorrow. And that's a strategy that you can test. So let's do that. So if we have the entire chart, let's see. 
and we can actually backtest this strategy that we've been talking about if we go long at the open and if we exit at the end of tomorrow and we go long at the open of tomorrow based on what sentiment we are seeing index today if it's bearish we want to go short if it's bullish we want to go long and let's just assume that we are buying and selling we are buying and shorting shares now for s p so if we just want to look at dex value not the moving average let's leave this blank and if we just want to look at the returns for tomorrow with a stop loss of two percent the stop losses help you in days where the market moves in the opposite opposite direction quite a lot let's actually set this to one because i've seen one to work better than two so what this is saying is we are going to uh, enter at the open of tomorrow and anytime we have a loss of greater than one percent we are just going to exit otherwise we are going to stay in the position till the end of the day if we back test this what we see is that over the last year over the last like from april to august this year from april 2021 to august 2022 we would have seen about 80 percent returns in spy now just to give you some perspective spy from april 2021 to august 2022 has been up about i think two percent only it's either down two percent or up two percent but if you had followed dex you would be up about 80 percent which is a huge or very significant difference if you know something about quant trading then the sharp that you get from this performance is about 2.5 which is very rare and which is very good one small uh, sort of uh, catch here is that uh, when i was uh, building this back tester uh, we actually enter at the close of previous day not at the open of next day if you open if you enter at the open of the next day the performance still holds the sharp is the same these returns just shuffle a little bit but they are still highly positive returns significantly more than what we had with s p last year so i hope this explains what dex is and and how do you back test this so you can actually like change these values play around see if you actually don't use stop loss what happens then and then see which uh, what gives you the best performance but uh, what what i wanted the, the point that i wanted to sort of send across from this video is that looking at uh, the option flow for the entire market and using it as a proxy of where the market might go is actually a very good idea and that's what the dex uh, is showing let's actually go back because i do want to show you something really cool so now let's actually look at each bar and see how it predicted the market the next day before i do that i do want to mention that the accuracy of dex very unintuitively is only around 60 percent so it is going to be wrong the next day about 40 percent of the time but the reason the returns are so high is one we are obviously using a stop loss but second whenever it is right and it is right more than 50 percent of the time it is right very well so like it will give you really decent and really good profits whenever it is right so the reward to risk ratio here is really good so let's say you are earning two percent per trade you're only losing about one percent per losing trade and your losing trades are only there for about 40 percent of the time and sometimes even if you are wrong in those 40 percent of the time you're not always going to lose one percent because the market might be choppy uh, that day and it might be range bound and you only lose like let's say minus 0 0.1 percent so overall the reward to risk ratio is really really high which gives you that smooth upward curve and i've done all my due diligence to make sure that the performance that it's saying and uh, there are new there are no future leaks there is no bug or anything so this uh, actually works really well now let's uh, actually stop talking about the performance and let's look at some bars let's look at some decks for some days and see how market reacted to that so you can see we start let's start with june uh, we, we started around 12th june we had positive market decks we went up the next day so at this point we are deciding that we are going to enter at the open of this day and this yellow uh, sort of point is the close of that day and we are going to go sort of go long if we did that we would have gotten profits because this is the close of the last day this is the close of the next day and if we entered at the start of the next day then the close was obviously higher uh, from the close of the last day and then as long as there was not a huge gap in the aftermarket or in pre-market 
we would have gotten really good profits so right right away we found the bullish trade and it worked so then you can see that let's actually remove this then we still wanted to go long because dax was still bullish but you can see that the price dropped just a little bit the next day so this is where that 40 percent error rate is coming from but you can see that the drop was not that big so even if we lost money here we did not lose much but we are still staying long here because uh, the dax is still positive and you can see the price went up the next day now this is this this is where the stop loss is coming. So this day Dex was still positive. At the start of next day, we got into a bullish position. But that day Dex was extremely negative. But since we are measuring Dex either sort of some hours into the market, we did not have this red bar uh, when we started the market that day. So this was not present. But still price was going down. So that day we probably hit hit a stop loss. But over the last few days we were doing okay so our still our reward to risk was much uh, higher than uh, sort of just some random uh, trading then you can see uh, so this is telling us to go bearish the next day and if we did that then we can see that we got small profits because price went down a little bit more the next day but the next day dex flipped again and price went actually down just a little bit the next day now there were a couple of bad days here where you can see that dex wanted us to go short but price actually shuffled between sort of these opposite regions and so we probably lost a little bit of money here but at this point so this we probably lost money this day but then dex completely shifted and if we went bullish like this day onwards at this day because we found a green bar we went long this day there was a huge move between from the previous day to this day so we made a lot of money if we kept in our long positions dex stayed positive we made a lot of money again and then again the next day dex turned negative but we did not lose a lot of money at all like there was a very small move down and now at this day when we come to this bar again this bar was not there till the end of the day so the start of this day we are going short because of the last bar and we would have profited now the next day you can see we go up and we go up again look at these charts you realize that the one day returns are actually pretty nicely explained or predicted by just looking at these text bars what's interesting is that this huge move down from about 420 all the way to 370 that was a 50 dollar move a big big move uh, the first day wasn't predicted because this was the first day but once it and we did not really again lose a lot of money but once it turned negative we caught the entire move from 410 all the way to about 370 so that was a 40 dollar move big move and we got all of that just because we were following dex and a really cool thing here to see is like this day was a probably a capitulation day where uh, there was now just a lot of greed and retail uh, started to join this bearish movement but the next day we went very super high on the dex value and this was a sign that markets are probably going to reverse now and like this is just beautiful at this from this point onwards so we went bullish at this day because this was the first day we got and again we are going to go bullish the next day so we went bullish here but then we stayed bullish until probably around here so we again caught a move from 370 onwards to around 380 390 just based on the text and so you can see like these small trends these three four day trends we are very very easily catching them with text this is the nice one we caught all of it then there was a small dip we caught it then again trend shifted we caught the trend and then so obviously there are some bad days but overall i hope you can realize or you can see how well these bars are predicting the next day's returns or, or over the next couple of days returns. so it's not just for one day you can do your own back tests you can uh, look for different uh, parameters you can also like uh, use moving averages to predict next end days which could be like two days three days uh, but i just wanted to talk about one day and and show you how powerful this tool can be and again if you want to look at if you want to predict today's market use the market net flow because that's for day trading but if you want to gauge what might happen tomorrow and if you want to have a strategy like to be honest where you don't do any work at 
एट मॉर्निंग एवरी डे यू बाय और शॉर्ट शेयर्स फॉर स्पाई और इवन यू बाय कॉल्स और पुट्स यू सेट अ स्टॉप लॉस एंड देन यू फॉर गेट अबाउट दैट ट्रेड फॉर द रेस्ट ऑफ द डे एंड दैट विल स्टिल स्टिल वर्क दैट विल गिव यू गुड प्रॉफिट बेस्ड ऑन द परफॉर्मेंस दैट वी सिंग द ओनली कैच एयर इज ऑब्वियसली दैट लाइक पास्ट परफॉर्मेंस इज नॉट अ प्रिडिक्टिव ऑफ फ्यूचर परफॉर्मेंस बट वी हैव सीन वेरी नाइस क्राफ्ट लाइक ओवर द लास्ट वन और टू ईयर्स सो आई एम स्टिल होपिंग दैट एंड दिस शुड कीप डूइंग वेल but uh, that's it for the video i just wanted to uh, talk about this uh, widget in some details because i really love how it works i really love the strategy that we've been able to build on top of it and i hope it's going to be useful for all of our users thank you so much for uh, listening to this i'll see you guys around